Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Mustard Peace. I have several ideas for the next several project and I already started to work on them, but unfortunately I realized I don't have enough resin to make this project. So I already ordered some, but it's not going to get here in time. So I won't be able to do that crazy stuff that you usually see me doing so either i don't post the video or i make something a little bit less complicated but very practical so i figured that's what i am going to do sawdust everywhere mustard piece i am a wood turner and a wood carver but I don't normally do anything functional and uh, my wife she always complains about not doing anything for the house I always do the these complicated YouTube video stuff basically I do art and I don't do anything functional and she is forced to buy things for example like this so I could have easily made this on the lathe to be honest and what is it? It is a turntable or tray. So basically this is a fancy storage. You put everyday items on it like salt, pepper, spices, oil, whatever you don't want to put into the cupboard because you need them every day and you store them on top of this and it looks decorative and you can turn it and you just pick the right one so basically today we are going to make my version of this and kind of surprise her with this one i am going to seal the wood because i don't want it to soak in all the epoxy we make this piece from walnut and we use yellow epoxy to get a little bit of coloration on it So how am I going to make this thing turn? So I bought a proper turning table base. This is for your outside table. You probably have seen this barbecue table with the smaller glass table in the middle and you can turn it. So this is for, for that. I am going to use this one for our turning table. Okay, the epoxy is set, now I have to attach it to the lathe, but this one is kind of tricky. I cannot use a wormhole screw, because that would almost go through, and I cannot use screws, just normal screws, because that's, again, that would go halfway in. I just don't have the space, so my only option it's hot glue. If you have any other tips, just write it into the comment section, but I cannot think of any other way to, to mount it. Okay, now it should be just fine. literally took me one single hit to take it off ok 
Okay, so that's how it is going to be. We make a nice tight groove here and just lower it into. So that's the plan. Let's clean it up. So for epoxy work, you usually want carbide. The visibility today is fairly limited. A little bit need to go a little bit wider but this is the part when I where I usually mess up because I don't want it to be much tighter literally like you're talking about millimeters We are too wide, literally took off like probably like a millimeter and now it fits nicely but it, it doesn't wedge into it. This one is turning, that should be fine. To be honest the bottom side with the epoxy is not not very impressive. I want a little bit of epoxy shining through the cracks. Turn it around and do the other side and do the edges. But here I like it a lot. And yeah, hopefully this side will be something like this. This one is nice and this one is nice but here not much epoxy so if I go down here a little bit it might reveal more of the epoxy if not carve into it a little bit and just pour a little bit more epoxy in it.
that's the final result. There is a little bit of color shining through, but I'm I'm a bit disappointed with this. It's fairly boring to be honest, and uh, it just doesn't cut it. So we are going to fix this one. I'll patch it up a little bit. I have lots of carving tools with many shapes and forms and we are just going to mess the whole thing up real good and then we pour a little bit more epoxy on it. Let's do that. Here we go, it usually sets in like 48 hours, depends on the epoxy you use, but this one what I use it sets like 48 hours. Okay, we made some progress on the side. <sighs> Ice cream, anybody? So this part here feels a little bit cheap to be honest. I'm probably going to reduce a little bit from this epoxy. Just go a little bit deeper and just carve away some because this doesn't look, it just doesn't look good. Let's move this one closer and just grab a pencil. Messed it up! Can you see in the middle, carved an extra? It just slipped. Uh, it's not too deep. It's not too deep. I think I can fix this. So just a piece of stick should burn it.
Again, I cannot really use screws because this is thin. It would just go through. Mustard piece.